Oh, what do you got, boo boo? Thanks for asking me if I was hungry, boo boo. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we're starting a new series that I'd like to call Salty Crab's Favorite Moments. And we're kicking things off with an Amberlynn classic video that I like to call the saddest mukbang ever filmed. Ready? Let's go. Hey guys, so I just, I need company. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Hello. Ugh. Okay, so we're starting things off on kind of a rough note. Um, we've got the greasy hair. We've got the gray bra that started out as white, but it's gotten so old and dirty and gross. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Amberlynn. Very gross. And she's already saying she needs company. She's doing the deep sigh. So we're already starting off not good. I just made me two sandwiches. It's this really low calorie, whole grain bread, little bit of mayonnaise. I only use mayonnaise on one side, as you can tell. And I just use some rotisserie chicken. Not the healthiest, healthiest thing in the world, but it's very low in points and calories. Ugh, a dry ass sandwich on some low fat bread. Yeah, this is going downhill real fast. Tastes exactly like what you'd expect. <sighs> this isn't like a mukbang. I'm just curious what she considers the characteristics of a mukbang because she says this isn't a mukbang or mukbang or whatever. I mean, she's eating on camera. Isn't that the very definition of mukbang? It's like literally eating show, but I don't know. Maybe she'll explain it. My hair. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. If by crazy you mean greasy and unwashed, then yeah, it's super crazy. Look at who I live with. Look at what they did to this. Glasses, nose ring, lips, mustache. Some weird little thing right here. I don't know who did that. Let me see. Let me take a guess. Just by looking at it. Eric or Becky? I don't think Ricky did that. But I'm alone. Oh, I forgot to mention the reason why she's alone. For those of you who don't remember, or maybe you haven't seen this before, she's alone because Becky is off visiting with her mother who is receiving treatment for cancer. And in typical Amberlynn fashion, she's throwing an adult tantrum because Becky left. She can't go get any fast food. She's stuck eating this plain sandwich. And that is why we have the mood that she's giving us. I should have got something to drink. <laughs> should I get something to drink? I'm gonna get something to drink. I'll be right back. We back, boo boos. Got a crush, a diet crush. Whatever. <laughs> that exploded. I think Eric just got home. If only we could go back in time and warn him. Eric, you in danger, girl. So I was alone, but um, Becky's gone for a trip. Ricky's at work. Eric's back. I'm filming. And here we are about to witness why this is one of my favorite moments. She is about to go off on Eric because he dared bring home fast food right in front of her when she can't get any herself. Just watch. This is great. Oh, what do you got, boo-boo? Party, boo-boo. Thanks for asking me if I was hungry, boo-boo. I know you like the work, boo-boo. So, boo-boo. No, I know you're late for work. Wait. I thought she didn't go past fast foods 
And here we have Amberlynn telling on herself. So just to catch you guys up, Eric got a ride from a friend. The friend was bringing him home on her way to work. And apparently she stopped at Hardee's to get Eric some lunch. And in my opinion, when Amberlynn says, oh, I thought she didn't go past any fast food places. That tells me that she probably asked Eric, hey, do you guys go past any fast food restaurants on your way home? And he probably said no because he didn't want to get her anything and now she's pissed we left a little earlier after ahead of time i thought we were gonna have enough time it was slam packed up there these people did not know what they were doing i don't like hardy's it was the closest thing i didn't want her to keep going further right so i was like i don't want to ask her to go any up further because of the taco bell they're doing like construction on the that's water. what becky told me we got stuck in the fucking drive, uh, and the, the guy, he parked his semi-truck in the road, got out and left his four ways on, and went into the restaurant because he couldn't turn in there, and just left his So car. he just went in the in the middle of the road. The turning lane, where it has people coming on that side and this side, left just, and walked in the restaurant to go get food. And he must have been <laughs> Me and Brady were stuck behind him, and we can't see if cars are coming. We're like, going like that, and I'm like, what do we do? What is that? Hand pump. Oh, I thought it was a mouthful. <laughs> I was like... I was so highly irritated. That's really weird that someone would do that. I know what you guys are thinking. Why the heck did she leave this story in the video? And I can tell you why she did that. This is called Amberlynn had no content at the time and she needed a video long enough to put ads on. That's it. That's the reason. There you go. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I was just telling them how lonely I was. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, Becky's at like a little family vacation type style. So I just want to point out right here that she does say Beck was at a family vacation, but at the time, everyone figured out that it was actually not a vacation. She was spending time with her mom at the hospital. People are walking outside. I'm not sure when you guys have like seen this or not, but... um. Ricky was at a oh, Ricky. Who am I talking about? Eric was at a friend's house. Ricky's at work. And I just figured I, I didn't know when he was gonna be home, but <laughs> it was so funny. I can't. But um, here's another white noise video for you guys. And that's her way of saying this video sucks and don't even bother watching it. <sighs> How's my life going? I don't even know. I'm so boring today. <sighs> it's a little eat with meme type style, but it's definitely not a mukbang because I like when people see my food when I do mukbangs. Ah, okay. That's why she's saying it's not a mukbang. Okay, girl, I guess. This is going to be one of those videos that I upload when I have nothing else to upload. So when you guys see this, <laughs> just know. Your girl ran out of videos. More like your girl needs money and she's too lazy to film an actually entertaining video. A lot of YouTubers do that. It's a little, it's a little tidbit for you guys. <laughs> I know someone in particular who does it, but I'm not gonna like put them on blast. Who am I? A YouTuber. Uh -huh. Not you. Not <laughs> but uh you gotta do what you gotta do when you do it huh, huh? Oh, talking to I'm talking to them <laughs> so did you have a good day Oh my God. And now we're resorting to, did you have a good day conversation? Amberlynn, did you really need to upload this to the internet? Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was okay. Whoa. That 
That thing I texted you was relatable, wasn't it? Which one? <laughs> the one. I kind of want to film, but I kind of, I kind of want to go swimming. But I kind of want to watch Fixer Upper, Fixer Upper. But I kind of want to cry. <laughs> So the word she edited out was die. She said something about I kind of want to die or something. I don't know. Back then she used to edit out strange words like she wouldn't say the name of her mascara, which was better than sex mascara. She was desperate for that YouTube coin. <sighs> That's where I'm at right now. I miss Becky. <laughs> Translation, I miss someone taking me around to places and picking stuff up for me. So you're doing the pool tonight? Okay, if they're going to sit here and talk about the swimming pool, I'm going to put something more entertaining on the screen. Who has the hose? Ricky. Why does Ricky have the hose now? Well, this is like a, the hose, like we, uh, I the can't. Hose yeah, this is the hose scandal. Like, what do you guys do with the hose? This is the real question. Oh, you know what we do with that hose. Someone's always doing something. Do you want to, you want to go in the mukbang? Go in the mukbang? This isn't even a mukbang. This is, <laughs> this is a, I don't know what I'm doing video. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm gonna fill up the pool. I was like, yeah, I'll have to jump for you. Yeah. He's like, well, I have the hose. I was like, that sucks. Maybe we could do like cups of water from the sink and go back and forth. <laughs> like, That's bad, right? That would be an exercise. That's something you see in The Biggest Loser. Exercise? That's something that would take days. Yeah, that's a good exercise. Let's lose some weight. Both of us, we need it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, somebody. Listen, the restraint I would have to use if Amber Lynn Reed told me I needed to lose weight. Oh my gosh. Eric, props to you for handling that way better than I would have. No, but it's so sweet. Becky's been gone for what? Three hours. She already texted me. I love you and I miss you already. <laughs> I'm like, why? Does it help or does it make it worse? That helps. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, if I'm the only one missing, then it's like, what are you doing, boo boo? Right. Why don't you miss me? No. And here we have a peek into Amberlynn's codependency issues. <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was sweet. It's like, because I feel like people take partners for granted. Oh, yeah. And I'm like the first to admit that, where it's like, you're with them 24 7, so it's just like a natural, like, routine thing. But then the minute they're gone, you're just like, mm, why? Why? No, just be honest, you hate that you're stuck at home and can't drive anywhere, and the only person that's hanging out with you is another one who can't drive anywhere. I just burped. Cute. <laughs> but yeah. <sighs> What'd you get? She's like, what'd you get? Explain it to me nice and slow in full detail. And also, do you care if I smell the bag? Let's go. Let's I don't know what that is. Is Frisco a chicken sandwich? No. They only have like a club chicken sandwich or something like that. It was grilled and I was like, oh, what's up? Frisco sounds chickeny. Actually, believe it or not, Sean. Wasabi just right up at the. <laughs> Wasabi used to never be able to jump on the table, so it's like I'm proud of him, but like I'm not. <laughs> Wasabi, you can't be on the table, babes. <laughs> babes, get down. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know, maybe get up off your ass and put the cat on the floor. I don't want to be mean. <laughs> Clap like this. <laughs> He's so cute. People are watching this video and they're so annoyed. They're like, why are you side talking? No, actually, we're like, why did you even bother uploading this? I mean, it's just a good combo. That's what I'm saying. Look at it. I just food fell out of my mouth into my hair. I'm falling apart today. Look at this, babes. Hey, wasabi. He's been so needy lately. He was in my lap for a solid like three hours yesterday. That's pretty cute. I'm home almost done with my sandwich. Ugh, did you guys see that fly buzzing around her? Like maybe when you're done with that sandwich, go take a shower. 
Just chicken? Just chicken? And a little bit of mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty plain Jane when it comes to stuff like that. I don't like it. Like when I get cheeseburgers, I literally just want cheeseburger and onion. Like no ketchup, mustard. Ooh, that's so gross. Why? It's gross. Um, if I'm making it myself, I don't want to go through. I don't want to do all that. I'll just do the simple mayonnaise and just whatever on it. But like when I'm getting it from like a restaurant, I, I get it with all that. I don't know. It's weird. I don't do the whole, no, don't do this. Whole thing. Right. Okay, I used to never be like that, but I just don't like ketchup. No, see, she used to never be like that, but then she started watching Trisha Paytas and trying to copy all the things that she did. And Trisha Paytas doesn't like things on her sandwiches, and then all of a sudden, Amberlynn didn't either. I don't like mustard. <laughs> Sorry, what is wrong, babe? I think he smells the chicken. No. <laughs> But yeah, I explained to them that when they see this video, it's because I have no other ones because this one sucks so bad. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. but yeah, you guys bought new plates. Why? The girl who is notorious for her overconsumption is asking someone why they bought something. I don't know, maybe because they wanted to. This isn't my plate. This is a new plate. Where'd it come from? We didn't buy any. You didn't buy this? No. Unless Ricky did without my knowledge. <laughs> I, I mean, he could have. <laughs> because we have so many plates, I pulled this one out and I'm like, oh, that's new. Did you borrow it from someone? Oh my God, girl. It's a random plate. Like, that happens to a lot of people. Why are you so concerned about where it came from? That's what I'm sitting here trying to think. Did I? <laughs> did Becky, mind. maybe? This doesn't really look like her mom's style, though. Her mom's very, like... Maybe because we were we went over there and grilled the chicken. And they sent us back with them. Brittany? Probably. Could be theirs. It looks like it could be. I don't know! <laughs> I don't know what the <laughs> plates look like somewhere. I don't know. And he's probably wondering why you care. I have no idea. And I have all kinds of crumbs in my hair. I'm gonna Hashtag fall apart. <laughs> Do it. Because I don't know. That's the mysterious plate. I don't know what's going on with life anymore. Today's just one of them ones. Mm -hmm. One of them days. One of them ones. Anyways, this, this video literally, I feel like, is the most pointless thing I've ever seen. You know what, Amberlynn? You took the words right out of my mouth. This feels like, it doesn't feel like a Friday to you? To you? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Probably because Ricky keeps talking about, oh, Friday. Mm -hmm. I was like, what's the difference between Friday and Mondays? When you're working again, when you're when it ends. <laughs> Us YouTubers, right. I don't know when it's Tuesday. I don't know when it's Friday. Right. I don't know when it. <sighs> when is our technical, like, Tuesday and Thursday? We don't have one. We just constantly, like, I know a lot of people think we don't, but it's like, you know, keeping your appearance up on Twitter and on Snapchat. To me, that's still part of it because you don't want to just yeah, have a hiatus and people are like, Amberlynn who? Oh, girl, if only you could see your upload schedule now. So you have to keep up your appearance. And I feel like I do that on Twitter, like, a lot, a lot. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you know that. <laughs> I agree because before I did YouTube, I didn't have Twitter. The only reason I have it is to keep them, yeah. you know, to be able to... Talk and interact with like my subscribers and stuff like that. Before then, I didn't have them. I didn't see a need there. Yeah. So, this is their weather. And I know they will. I have baby oil on my hair if you guys are wondering. Girl, stop. That is at least two weeks worth of built up hair grease from not washing your hair. You ain't fooling anyone. Don't ask. Maybe. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> Anyways. No one's watching this, so I'm just going to end this now. Okay, I love you guys. Bye. Well, that was brutal, but also I had so much fun watching that with you guys. I hope you had fun too. If you did, please leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so.